I have the habit that we all know as anxiety of overanalyzing everything, extreme overanalyzing everything, extreme overthinking everything, but I've kind of along my growing up and my experiences, I've learned a lot about myself and how to take it and use it to my advantage as opposed to letting it consume me and getting stuck and just overanalyzing everything. But I literally, I will analyze everything to the core. And also that is why I know myself so well and that's why I know my emotions very well because I everything about myself I also overanalyze and so I make sure I know what's going on in like my health, my mental health, my thoughts, where I'm going in life and that's why I'm very very strict, very very disciplined with myself because I know what's good for me and what's not. So I'm taking it and using it to my advantage in a way. Um, for example today with the coffee I really really enjoy cold brew from Starbucks enough to put it in one of my places that I'm allowed, to, not allowed because it's not like I'm restricting myself from anything because I really don't want to spend money on anything unnecessary that isn't going to give me the same return of investment as other things that do bring me that level of joy at which I am putting that buffer to things that I do want to spend money on. That being said, I did overanalyze and calculate my cold brew purchase today and my thought process um, <laughs> I calculated the cost of a venti cold brew, which is 0.2458 cents per ounce. With this happy hour, which was buy one get one free, I bought one and got one free, so that would cut it in half to 0.065. That's 7 cents per ounce for Starbucks cold brew. That's less than a bag of almonds from Walmart. Cause yes, I calculated that too. So that's a glimpse into my brain and an example of how you don't have to be consumed by your over analytic brain. It's okay, embrace it, love it. It's who you are. And um, I would consider myself very <laughs> successful for my age. I don't know, I'm just happy all the time and I want everyone to feel this way because I just feel everyone's tension all the time on social media, very judgmental, very nervous about living and that shouldn't be the case because life should be fun for everyone. That's all I had to say. I'm getting kind of cheesy. All right, bye. I love you guys. Subscribe to my YouTube. I don't know what this was, um, just a ramble probably, but I noticed I don't have time to plan out videos like I wish, or I don't want to make time to plan out videos like I wish I could. So this is just, um, gonna be really raw footage that I'm just gonna together and throw up on the YouTube for you guys to have something consistent to watch from me consistently. All right, bye. I also wanna say that's why it helps to live a minimalistic and intentional living lifestyle because I don't do this with, like I do sometimes have the urge to do this with every single little thing, but I don't let myself and there's some things that I just let go and don't think about, but I can choose which ones I do overanalyze and that gives me a peace of mind. I, another thing I wanna point out is I already know there's a stain on my shirt so nobody commented and if you commented, I already know.